I have the level now, but where am I gonna find those implings? Huh? I know what it is you seek. Whoa, jeez. Why'd you sneak up on me like that? Shh. Keep your voice low. Sorry. Why are you here? I can show you where to catch implings. I believe you need them to progress. Yes, but how can I trust you? You met a man named John Piscarillius, yes? How did you know that? Because we are on the same side. Come with me. So tell me about these implings. They travel to different worlds through portals, collecting objects for some unknown purpose. These portals appear wherever the planet's energy spills out. Our order has been studying them for a while. Your order? The order of the Raven. The world is smaller than you think, Ingus. Everything is connected. In time you will understand. I must be going now. Take heed of John's warning. The long night approaches. Being a pirate isn't easy. Other players spit on you, and banks refuse your service. On top of that, pirates can only train skills and obtain items in the following areas. Unless, of course, we find any maps to buried treasure. Any quests that unlock new ports or islands are fair game, including all of the pirate-themed ones. I have chosen to write these tales down because someone must know the truth if I perish in the chambers of Zarek. My name is Ingus, and this is the story of how I became King of the Pirates. Chapter 16 Eclectic Riches Ninety three Hunter? I don't think I'm ever getting that. <sighs> oh, yes, got a battle staff. Okay, that'll alk for a little bit. Ooh, there's another one. Let's get it. Ah, uh, gold ore. Okay, come here, you. I want an eclectic. Noted sharks. Okay, that could be useful in the future, but it's not what we want right now. If only you could see just how many worlds I have to hop just to find a single eclectic impling. It really boggles my mind. Pay attention to the time at the bottom of the screen. You'll see just how many minutes are passing in between each impling. <laughs> this is gonna take so long. Ooh, there's another one. I'm going to need 15 oak planks to build everything that I need in the costume room, but the drop rate of oak planks from an eclectic impling is 1 in 10, which sounds like a pretty common drop, and it is, if you're lucky. But in reality, for every eclectic impling that I find, I have a 10% chance of getting an oak plank drop, and I need at least 4 to build the stuff that I need. Oh, there's one. Come here. Come here. No, no, no. <laughs> come back. Come on. What? Uh, dang it. Come back. No, come back. Please. <laughs> come on. <laughs> I really need a higher agility level. <laughs> and not planks. Okay, I've been hunting these for a little while. I think I'm going to go check out these clue scrolls that I got. And that way, when I'm hunting, I can get some more. Just got to find the right spot. Where is it? Right here? Oh, hey, there's a casket. Eh, I don't really, I don't have the space for the staffs, but it would be nice. Would be nice. So for this next step, apparently I need something called a halberd. And I believe I can only get that in the Western lands, which I haven't even explored yet. So looks like we're gonna have to drop this. While we're here, may as well buy this ectophile back because our house is in Relica now, and we don't really have a good way to travel to charter ships. So it turns out that implings can tell when they're being hunted, meaning they'll stop appearing if too many of their kind get captured in one area. I would need to find another spot while they respawned. 
Out of all the places I can journey to, I've deduced that there are at least three locations I can check for implings based on the Hooded Woman's advice. The first location is the Taibo Wanai Jungle Mine, which is where I just was, and I'm assuming implings are attracted to the mysterious glowing rock that must be spelling out this energy that the woman was talking about. So where else does the world's energy spill out onto the surface? The Karamja Volcano, impling catching location number two. I know I've seen some around here before. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything, but I will stay here for a bit longer. Oh yes, and it's an eclectic. Come here. Let me get ya. Come on, oak planks. Uh, watermelon seeds. Can't even use those. Uh, it's been another 10 minutes. I can't reach. Beautiful. Maybe if I chop this tree? Nope. He's just gonna fly away. All right. Oh, and now he's stuck again. Cool. Oh, he's free. Come on. Ah, uh, another one? <gasps> yes! <laughs> Are you serious? I've been hunting these implings for eight hours today without a single drop. I have never felt so happy to see an item in my inventory before. Okay, I keep forgetting that I have some Harlanders in my inventory, so I'm gonna make some energy potions. Maybe this will help out a little bit. All right, that's the last one. Since we're down here, I'm gonna go head back to the mine and see if I can find some more. Oh, what a waste of time. What a big waste of time. I'm not even at the mine yet and I used all my energy potions. Oh yes, right off the bat. Didn't even hop worlds. And the chance of getting an adamant ore drop is one in 100. Ooh, there's one hiding in the bushes. Come here, come here, you. Come on, second plank drop. Just give me... Mm. Mm. The drop rate is one in 10, lads. One in 10. Ooh, this one's sneaking around in the northeast. I see ya. And a curry leaf. Don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Wait a sec. If implings enter into this world through places like the Karamja volcano, then maybe they also spawn near the Fossil Island volcano. At least that's what my logic tells me. To test this assumption, I'm gonna head back to the Corsair Cove dungeon so I can get a ruby and make myself another dig site amulet. Damn, you know what? I'm gonna have to hop worlds because this guy is an absolute machine. There's no way he's gonna join my pirate crew. No way. Whoa, that is spooky. I should probably go take this to Truvidus to find out what it is. Ah, I sense Juju. What's that? Juju Bana! Juju! It is the energy in the mask. Okay, what does it do? Mask of the Hunter it is. So it will help me catch implings? Yeah. But beware Bana. Too much Juju. No good. Okay, got it. Thanks. Ha! <laughs> Too much Juju? What does that even mean? Oh yeah, base 70s, looking fresh. Level 46 prayer, retribution unlocked. Hey, wait up. And gotcha. Excuse me, can you show me where to catch those? Whoa, whoa, back, stay back. These are my implings. Look, mate, I don't want any trouble. What's your name? Oh, I'm sorry. I've been living here alone for a long time. Resources are very scarce in this island. Anyway, I'm back. You look like a pirate. What's your name, lad? I'm Ingus, from the Karamjan Sea. You may have heard of me. No, I don't think I have. What? 
Have you been trapped on an island or something? Well, yeah. This guy sure seems full of himself. How'd you get stuck here? Well, I was part of the first exploration party for Fossil Island, but on the way here, some, some beast, it attacked our ship. As far as my crew, I haven't seen any of them since. I've swore to myself that I will avenge my fallen brothers before I head back to the mainland. So, I've just been surviving here until that day. Wow. I see. Listen, I came here searching for eclectic implings. Have you seen any floating around here? Perhaps, but why should I help you? I just need to catch them until I have enough oak planks. After that, I can be on my way. Okay, okay, I'll help you. But only if you help me track down some essence implings. They're my only source of law runes in this godforsaken island. Do we have a deal? Deal. I still have a long way to go in these law runes, so do come find me again. Will do, friend. Thanks for all the help. Good luck with your revenge. All right, my friends. The search continues yet again. So far, we have eight oak planks. Still need two more drops. Well, I just found another one, but um, it's just a unicorn horn. I know I'm probably making you suffer sitting through all this. It's nice to have you guys along with me because I don't know how I would make it because I am definitely losing some motivation here. Notice the clock counting up rapidly and my run energy pretty much always at zero. Yeah, fun, fun times, just uh, fun times. I figured these implings must have been picked off earlier before I got here by someone else, so I headed back to the Karamja mine. Oh, there's one. Finally. Can we get something out of it, please? <laughs> no. No, that's a, that's a one in 100. Uh, okay, I am sorry guys. I didn't even realize this at first, but the blue dehyde chaps have a plus five attack bonus over the studded chaps. These are our new best in slot for range gear. Come here, you little bugger. Okay, what do we get? No, nothing? Did we get? I don't know if that diamond was there before. I can't even re I can't even remember. Yep, um, it wasn't there before. So uh, that's another one in 100. Oh, 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 ah. Oh. We are actually doing pretty well in this spot so far. It's a lot better than the volcano for sure. Except for uh, not getting any planks. Okay, horned grocks were pretty bad. Birdhouses were terrible. But this has to be, <laughs> this has to be my least favorite thing to do ever. And it's another Mithril pickaxe, same drop rate as oak planks, uh, that's nice. Being a pirate isn't easy. Oh, he's stuck in, I've been waiting. I've been camping at this pond for a good like two minutes so far, just waiting for him. Waiting for that snape grass. Ah, I just got back from a break. I definitely, definitely needed it. What? Oh! And we get a unicorn. Honestly, if I just get one more drop, I'm just gonna go straight to the costume room. Never mind. 
Uh, I have such a love-hate relationship with these because every time I see one, I get a little bit excited because it could be the one, and then I get gold bars. Come on. Air runes. Okay, I got a beginner clue from the baby impling. What do we get? <laughs> this has to be a joke. Okay. Um, we got two now. Uh, very useful. Too bad we can't store two. So, um, guess I'm just gonna drop it. I don't know. Even if it's a young impling, we still gotta catch it. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on. Uh... A lot of this is sometimes just waiting around till... Oh, ooh. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Come on. Yeah. Mm. You know what? We are pretty full on inventory space, so... I think it's time to part ways. <gasps> There's one. Oh, I think he's gonna go away. And he's gone. Well, um, I guess I'll just be waiting here for him then. You know, I just ran all the way around the island and he's stuck behind the wall. <sighs> I might just have to teleport back now because he's gonna move. There he is. Let's get him. Okay, it is time. I think this spot is pretty much done. We're gonna go check back at the jungle mine. Ooh, there we go. That didn't take long. And it's another candle lantern. I wish we had a use for those. You know, the biggest struggle I'm having right now is the fact that I don't have any run energy and I keep getting snape grass. We are going to build a few items in the costume room right now just so we can store this monk's robe top. It'll save me one inventory space, so it's perfectly rational. Wow, I am so smart. Um, I don't have a hammer or saw, do I? You know, it's probably a bad idea to drop these planks, so I'm gonna drop something else. All right, let's just collect our tools real quick. Oh, guys, it's finally time. We can store stuff. After nearly eight episodes, we can finally store things. And this means we can get the Amulet of Magic or the Monk's Robe Top anytime we want. All we have to do is teleport to our house. This is, this is gonna be so good. Last but not least, the armor case. This will save a lot of space. All right, let's just finish this clue scroll up so we can get back to implings because we need one more drop. Wow, those are some pretty useful items actually. Hey, at least we got five purple sweets. Those will come in handy. Next up, it is back to the jungle mine. I still haven't figured out the best way to get there. Um, sometimes I just walk south, other times I just go for this cart, so I don't know. But if you take this cart, you have to walk all the way around, so I'm not sure if it's actually faster.
guys, I think our luck is finally starting to run out because I have not seen an eclectic impling in 30 minutes. Oh, finally. Come here. Uh, of course, I need to drop something. But you have heard of me. Just the unicorn horn. All right, it's been another 13 minutes for some gold ore. I was pretty determined to finish off the impling grind that day, so I headed to Fossil Island once again. <gasps> yes! Yes! It's over! It's over! Finally! It's finally done! I can stop doing this. All right, we have our planks. We are ready to go to build the last item, the carved oak magic wardrobe. Now, this is actually going to be a little bit tricky. The magic wardrobe requires 51 construction, and I only have 49, but there is a way for me to do that. I just have to make some tea. So with the wooden shelves three, I can make a tea that gives me a plus two boost to construction. Okay, so just use the kettle on the sink, okay? So we should have water in our kettle. And then we we use it on the range, right? Oh, okay. So oh, it's just, oh, it's just like making tea. Nope, I was wrong. You gotta take the kettle and then use the tea. Okay, never mind. You have to use the, the tea on the teapot and then pour the water into the teapot. Now you have a pot of tea, and then you take the teacup and pour the tea into the teacup. Okay, this is gonna be a little complicated because I don't have a hammer or a saw. So hopefully when I leave my house, I don't lose the boost. All the essential house furniture is finally built, at least for the level that I have. I would still like to get an oak altar, but we can just catch implings passively when we see them. But the more important thing is that we got all of the storage pretty much taken care of at this point in time. Until we get access to higher planks, this is going to be the best thing that can serve us right now. Now this journey cost me a ton of money, so I'm gonna need to go back and rebuild some of that at the Ogres Warriors. And I want to test out these new blue dehyde chaps. Who's there? Come on out. Show yourself. Who are you? I thought I was getting closer to the end of my adventure. Turns out I was wrong.